All right. I am back on. We're going to let people hop back on. Thank you for being patient. We were having some connecting issues, it seemed. So we're going to try this again. I'm going to try this again. So tonight we are making a Halloween card, and it is a fun fold. Um, by the way, this is Jennifer Sinceri, and I am a Stamping Up Independent Demonstrator. It is September 1st, 2023, and I am playing with Them Bones Designer Series Paper from the new mini holiday catalog. All right, so let me know if everything looks good. If you guys can see me, if you could comment, that would be amazing. Let me know, please. <clears throat> and then I'm going to get started. Or I should say, finish up what I started. <laughs> All right. How are we doing? Peggy, are you there? Can you see me? Is everything all right? I'm seeing the live button and I don't look frozen. So I'm just going to trust that everything's okay. Okay, Peggy can see me. Perfect. Thank you, Peggy. I appreciate that. Okay, so as I was saying, we have this flap that we have put underneath our designer series paper. All right, and we're going to decorate and add more to this card. It's kind of like a postcard with some elements to it. So, yeah, it seemed like I was freezing for a couple minutes there, off and on, and my device is still acting kind of funny, so I'm hoping I can get through this video. We bought a new router, and I'm curious if that has something to do with it. So let's see if we can get through this, okay? All right, just let me know. Uh, keep commenting if something's acting crazy. Just let me know. I appreciate that. So we now I have to see which piece. That one's smaller. Okay. I went through the dimensions on this on the first part of my video. And what I'll do is I guess I'll write them down as well and share those on my um website with you guys because I know it's hard to duplicate cards when you don't know the dimensions and you can take this idea and use it for any card any occasion as I was saying I'm not a huge Halloween person but kids really love Halloween and I was thinking of making some Halloween cards and sharing them at children's hospitals for the kids that can't go trick-or-treating. All right. So I really feel that the white cardstock helps this card stand out and pop. Oh, I hope I, everything's working. Okay, so there's that part. Now we're going to open it up. And we're going to put a piece up here for writing. And then we're going to put another piece here. Okay? But we're going to decorate that up so that you can um, have a little more fun. So we need, we're going to put a little skeleton guy on here. And we're going to pop him with some dimensionals so let's put a few and I just fussy cut him out there's a stamp set and a die uh, die set that goes with this paper I didn't buy it um, but if you love the little skeleton you could buy him and then you've got some dies, and the dies would cut out these skeletons from the paper as well as the stamp. I, um, I just thought I would make do with the paper and fussy cut it myself. Okay. 
we're going to just take the backings off of this. And what I did was I cut one of our little dimensionals, uh, one of the ends, to get those legs to pop as well. I don't like to waste the dimensionals or the pieces. I don't want to cover up that bat, cute little bat. Now, another stamp set um, is called Pick of the Patch, and it's got cute pumpkins that you can turn into a jack-o'-lantern. And I had it. There is a punch, and the punch seems to have... Oh, here it is. Here's the punch. So it cuts out this pumpkin, cuts out this pumpkin, and then it cuts out this leaf, and you get a stem. All right? <clears throat> and what I did was, since this is Cajun Craze, I stamped... You can barely see it, but I took Cajun Craze cardstock and I stamped on top of it. It's kind of hard to see, but there are some ribs there for the pumpkin. And so we're going to put a little pumpkin here. And I punched out the leaf, but I'm going to stamp the veins on the leaf. And I'm going to stamp off so it's not so dark. This is shaded spruce on, I just picked a scrap of paper. I think this is, actually might be pear pizzazz, but you could use, and which is retired, you could use old olive. All right. So I was just using a little scrap there um, for my leaf. Let's move him over. And where's my stem? Here's my stem. I didn't go with brown. I did a black stem. And we also need to put a little jack-o'-lantern face on him. So let's grab our black. And we'll put a little face on him. Okay. Isn't that adorable? That's a cute little jack-o'-lantern. Okay. Whoops. Now we're going to pop this cutie pie. <clears throat> Oops. Mm -hmm. All right. So there's my pumpkin. And I'm going to put his stem on. I think I'll use a little, little dot of glue. Oh, it looks like I froze again. Oh, there I'm back. Good grief. So weird. Ooh, because we're not having bad weather here. It's kind of weird why this is happening. And I need... Uh, I need my tweezers. I think I'll have to use my... Um, i got way too much glue on there. So let's take some off. All right. Oh, oh, you're kidding me. Tonight is not my night, guys. Oh, there he is. Here we go. Put it right there in the middle. I think it's upside down. That does not look right. Let's try it this way. That looks better. Okay. <clears throat> and then we'll put our little leaf on there. Yeah, I'm not sure, Catherine, what is going on. This is crazy tonight. I don't usually have issues with my connection. Oh, I don't like that. I need to... I'm so sorry. I'm going to have to tell hubby because I'm wondering if it's the new router that he bought. Because this is crazy. It's 
so frustrating to be watching something and then it keeps acting up. All right, I think that's on there. Okay, then, so that opens. We've got a cute little scene here with our pumpkin. Um, I'm also going to add some embellishments. These are the glow-in-the-dark bats and ghosts. So that would be fun for kiddo in the hospital who gets this card who can't go trick-or-treating, but they're going to have a glow-in-the-dark card. Wouldn't that be fun? I'm going to add maybe a little glow-in-the-dark can't really see them very well with the bones so let's put them right here we'll put a glow-in-the-dark bat right there and we'll put another glow-in-the-dark bat right there to go with the black one <laughs> all right now we're going to stamp on our in uh, the part that we would write on I'm gonna put a little stamping there um, and I have sticky fingers so that's not good. All right, I think we'll do another pumpkin. We'll do this tall one maybe, or this short one, or we could do the little crow. That would be cute. Maybe we do a crow sitting on the pumpkin. That would be cute. All right, so let me, we do this here. I'm gonna put, I think I'll do the other pumpkin with the crow on the top piece. So let's grab a block and <clears throat> grab some pumpkin pie. Make sure I'm not stamping him upside down. And I need enough room for my crow. Okay. And we can make a little jack-o'-lantern face. I almost put that in the orange. Yikes. Now, there's only one jack-o'-lantern face, but you can make it work on all the pumpkins. It's just going to look different. And then let's do our black crow. Alright, ink that up. I'm sitting on top of that pumpkin. I didn't put leaves or a um, stem on there. So I don't know if I like that. What do you guys think? I don't know that it would fit. I'm trying to think what else. I'm just so distracted because of our issues here. Alright, I'm looking at my stem. I don't know if if I put the stem there, you're going to see part of it. I think it might look better. Kind of. All right. I don't know if I want to add... I could do a little vine. Let's do a little vine. I don't think I have room for leaves on here. So let's do a little vine. Ooh, that's a long vine. Mm. I think I need to mask a little bit. Let me grab a Darn it, that didn't go right. I'm 
like having such difficulties tonight. We'll just put a vine down there. I'm going to have to use my little pen and fix that one right there. So many difficulties tonight. Good grief. All right. I'm going to put a couple, let's do a couple vines on this one, just some pumpkin vines. All right, there we go. So let me hold this up so you guys can see it. So cute little, you guys can see the little glow in the dark bats. Okay. And then when we open it up, that's what it looks like on the inside. All right. Well, guys, I think I'm going to call it good because it seems like things are going crazy tonight with my um, connection. I did do another card. I was using some retired product. Um, just, just so you guys can see, it's the same card layout. This, is, um, this paper right here is retired. This paper here is from this pack. All right? So I was just using up, and I tied a ribbon around this one. I didn't do any stamping on this side. And I used, these are from the clearance rack. So um, just a different look. All right. Okay, everyone. I hope you have a great uh, Labor Day weekend. Hopefully you're going to do something fun, something relaxing, or get something accomplished. Um, I'm having a stamping class tomorrow, and then um, Sunday and Monday I'm going to be working on some things after church for Our Lady's Church Retreat that I'm helping co-lead. So I'm going to have a busy weekend, but it's good. It's good. It's um, things that I need to get done. So just to let you guys know, I will not be here next Friday. I'm going on a church retreat. Um, so I will not go live Friday night of next week. Um, Lord willing, I will try to come on a little bit early and have another card for you. But if not, then I will just uh, see you the next following week after that. All right, everyone. It's just a super busy time right now with school starting. And it seems like fall. We've got lots of things happening. It's good, but it's busy. <laughs> All right, everyone, take care. Thank you so much, Peggy. We're going to have fun at the class tomorrow, as always. And I will see you guys soon. Stay healthy and stay safe. All right, bye-bye, everyone.